Okay, hey guys, welcome back. Lou from Adrift in Tokyo. So this is part three. Part one, I talked about SoftBank, mobile phones, getting started with the uh, real estate stuff. Part two, I talked about the specifics with the real estate stuff, kind of getting through all of those viewings and actually seeing a place. This part, I want to talk about a little bit about the process on screening, some fun things I've done after that, what I did today, and um, kind of wrap everything up. So what was funny after I saw these these places, I, like I said, I like the two apartments in Tokyo, uh, in Nakano, but now I'm talking with the real estate agent, I'm like, what are the next steps, what do we do? what do I need to apply? I want, I want these two apartments because if I've learned anything from this process before, it's one, um, I'm not going to get much further with any of these other agents. Now, some of them may be really nice, but we're all searching the same database. I didn't see any other properties in there that looked appealing to me. So I like this first one. I like this second one. They were great. Um, the third one was not good. Um, which was in Koenji. Very old, very dirty, um, which they say they'll clean it, but it was pretty dirty. And uh, it was right next to the elevator and it was pretty grungy outside. So, um, so next steps. So he says, okay, so you need to deal with the issue of a guarantor. Or, you know, in Japan, um, they require something called a guarantor, which is basically insurance against you not paying rent. And you can you can put someone up like it's like a it's like getting a loan in the U.S. Like if you want a loan, but you uh, but it's like requiring a cosigner. So if you cannot pay the loan, you um, your cosigner is liable and they must pay it. It's a similar concept. So if you need if they want a guarantor, then you have to go to a, another Japanese person or a company which provides this service, and they will act as a guarantor. Now a company charges uh, a nominal fee, like 50% of whatever rent it is, and then they will uh, pay the rent in the case that you can't pay it. Now, so that's the guarantor company. And now some landlords, if they deem the applicant to be uh, like a high risk, like me, foreign student, then I've got to get not only a guarantor company, they require a personal Japanese guarantor which means <laughs> I have no idea why they require to, but I'll try to explain it. So the company guarantees that if I miss the rent, they will pay it immediately. Like the cash flow will continue to the Japanese owner of that apartment. So the, hypothetically, I leave the country. So they're left holding the ball. And so they, the guarantor company will pay the rent, but the guarantor company um, I think this is how it works. The guarantor company would, would go after me to say, hey, we paid the rent for you, but you still have to pay it. And so maybe I've gotten back on my feet, maybe I came back into the country, and so I say, okay, yeah, here's some back taxes or back rent. I'll, you know, get us up to speed. And so I don't know why we need a guarantor company for that, but in any case, um, if I have left the country for good, then the guarantor company wants their money back. And so they will go after the guarantor, or they'll go after the owner who will then go after the guarantor, which in this case is a uh, Japanese person. So I've got to get a guarantor, a guarantor company in some cases. Luckily, the Nakano apartments they only require a guarantor company. and. Why is this important? Because when I spoke to Hitotsubashi University, again, wonderful people, they've been very helpful. They said, at the beginning of this whole thing, I said, hey, I'm going to be applying to some apartments. And they said they may need a guarantor company. And I said, oh, no problem. Um, you can apply to the university. We have a special office that acts as a guarantor company for our students. And I'm like, great, I can use them. And so, what I didn't know was that none of the none of the companies that we call will accept a university as a guarantor company. So it's basically um, useless. And so, and so, it's all these discoveries that I'm finding. In any case, so now I like these two places. We had a great experience, but um, 
uh, I've got to wait and hear back. So I've applied to these two, and so if I pass the screening process, maybe my application will go through and I'll be able to actually bring forth all the money needed to apply to these departments. So that was the big thing. Um, I feel a little bit better about apartment hunting, but man, was it brutal. Um, just sitting down, going through all of these, not knowing, I mean, I still don't know if I can get the, the apartments that I really like. I may have to go back out there again. So I've got this time crunch coming up with all the foundation courses and work to do for Totsubashi, and I don't know yet if I can even pass the screening process. In any case, I still love this place. A ton of fun. Let me show you a few things that I bought today as I was coming back from my second uh, apartment hunting trip with a different agent, which is um, just kind of giving me a different perspective. Okay. So, what do I got here? Ah, okay, so I got some... So I wanted to... I haven't done any exercising while I was in Japan. And so, um, I finally went out and I said, well, I'm going to need some energy because I'm so jet-lagged. So I bought this uh, energy gel from one of the Kombini. And this is like a... I don't know what it would be like. A, it's not like an energy shot like in the U.S., but it says here, a special jelly drink uh, designated to supply carbohydrates equal to a rice ball. So, um, that's good. So I pretty much ate an entire rice ball before I ran, and after that I was pretty well um, thirsty. So hold on a second here. Gotta go digging in my trash. I do this out. So, of course, if I'm if sweating and I'm hot and I want to recharge, then I grab my trusty Pokari Sweat, which is a healthy beverage uh, that smoothly supplies uh, the lost water and electrolytes during perspiration. So um, these can be easily absorbed into the body. So if you're looking for some Pokari Sweat, come to Japan. But then I've got to take my shower, and I didn't have any, uh, I ran out of soap, I brought like a little travel soap. So I picked up uh, this guy from the uh, local pharmacy, it's, I don't know, they, I don't think it's a pharmacy. But, um, you know, this is why I really bought the guy. It says, nature is the best physician, or whatever that says, but nature is... <laughs> Nature is the best physician, but nature is being destroyed by cities, which um, was kind of grim and depressing, but uh, the soap was really good, so that, uh, I think it was a win. And so, um, I have my soap, got some green tea up there, uh, the room is a mess, the people here are wonderful still, the family I'm with are, um, they've been so, so kind and so helpful, I can't emphasize that enough. Is there anything else I need to show you guys? Um, not really. Got all my notebooks. Plan for tomorrow is to get back out there again. Um, oh, how did I forget this? To make things worse, if if they can get any worse, is that there's a big typhoon coming, and it's going to be hitting pretty shortly in Tokyo. Now, um, this is nothing. Everyone keeps on telling me this is not a big deal, but it was raining like cats and dogs out here um, this morning. So and into the afternoon. So that was fun. And so uh, tomorrow is a holiday in Japan. Uh, typhoons coming, and uh, I don't know if I'm gonna get any of these apartments. So it's uh, it's been fun, but all in all, I've been eating a ton of sushi. I had some uh, Korean barbecue today for for ten bucks. Ten bucks, I got so much food. It was great, and we're gonna be uh, eating dinner soon, uh, pretty soon here. So um, all in all, I think that wraps everything up. I'm gonna upload all these videos and get that out there, and then tomorrow, hopefully, I'll have some time to get back in front of the camera and talk a little bit. But um, take it easy, guys, and stay tuned for our next vlog, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Later.